Hey, what's up everyone? So, this reaction video is for H Jungle with T. So, for those who are not familiar with this, uh, this group, it's actually uh, was a, uh, it was more of like a temporary project because um, at the time, during the 90s, especially the mid 90s, uh, Komodo Tetsuya, Tetsuya, aka TK, uh, he was achieving so much. Uh, so much media coverage and fame because everything he touched was gold. TRF, Amuro Namie, Globe, Uchida, um, let's see here, I mean, there's so many names, Hitomi, um, Shirohana Ryoko, you name it. There's so many, oh, Kahara Tomomi, Gosh, there's just so many artists that he, he produced and groups that the mid-90s was pretty much dominated by what was dubbed the TK family. And there was a pretty much of a challenge to see if that, uh, that everything that, that uh, TK did would turn to gold. And so could he make a person who could not sing become number one and Hamada Masatoshi you know he's uh, he's more of a comedian not a singer but he has been uh, you know he has done other musical projects especially with Geisha Girls which I did a reaction video uh, earlier on but um, yeah he uh, pretty much collaborated with TK with the song Wow War Tonight, Toki Ni Wa Okose, Your Movement. So that translate, Let's Start a Movement, which was released back on March 15th, 1995 by Avex Tracks. So Avex at the time was pretty much like a uh, group, or pretty much like a music label, I'm sorry. That was almost like Hybe, <laughs> like uh, like Hybe is today with K-pop. Uh, Avex was pretty much dominant uh, in the music charts. They had various labels and sub-labels, and uh, pretty much they remained dominant for for well over uh, well over almost two decades, pretty much, I guess you could say. And I think, if anything, the 90s were courtesy of TK and so they went and did this collaboration with Hamada Masatoshi and DJ Ku and Mark Panther was also involved DJ Ku is the DJ of TRF Mark Panther is the rapper of Globe and so they went ahead and created this song and needless to say it was number one in fact, it uh, it achieved gold. It was uh, number one for seven consecutive weeks, and it was number one on the Oricon charts, April 1995, and it was a major achievement. So, <laughs> needless to say, um, Hamada, his joke of saying to Komodo, if Komodo-san releases a song. It will sell so please write a song for me too <laughs> and sure enough it happened so let's go ahead and check out this video this is a video I have not watched for um, a while now it was back on Avex tracks uh, um, I believe it was called dance camp 95 and this was probably the first major TK family gathering um, that was released on CD and on video and so here we go let's check it out you'll see a lot of the TK family um, joining uh, and singing along and here we go
<laughs> so that was War Well War tonight. Let's go ahead and uh, stop that right here. So pretty much, uh, yeah, that was Well War tonight, and man, that song was just you know. I think for a lot of people at the time, it was a little surprising and shocking because it was a collab. Well, you know what? You can't say that collaboration was not expected because a lot of comedians do uh, collaborate with producers in Japan and they do, they have released music singles before. Um, but I think this one was really interesting, especially of how people resonated with the song. Uh, I I think if anything, just looking at the looking at the uh, the comments here, uh, Hamada said that um, he he said that I wonder if he understood me and wrote the song because he knew me well. I think it applies to anyone who's working hard at something. Maybe that's why I was able to sing it so naturally and honestly. Sakamoto Ryuchi, you you saw him uh, with the um, the keyboard. Uh, he was playing. Um, the late legend Sakamoto Ruichi said that among Komodo song this is a straightforward song with a natural chord progression and a straightforward melody line it nicely reflects Hamada's desire to make people cry during dramas uh, Okuda Tamiyo said it was such a good song that I had a lot of respect for it and didn't feel like competing with it Yoshihiro Kai said it's hard to see people uh, it's hard to see because it's set to a dance beat but I have a lot of faith in people who can write these kinds of uh, slightly sad lyric phrases. So this was just a very, um, it's a song that just pretty much came out of nowhere and sold 2.3 million copies. So it's the third best selling uh, work from Komodo Tetsuya. And it's also the best selling CD ever by a comedian. So that's uh, for CD single not albums but for the most part yeah uh, this uh, TK music uh, clamp um, was a memorable uh, performance and I think if, you know for me um, I think this was a really uh, unique moment of J-pop history of seeing this collaboration and seeing that how Komodo Hotensia really uh, was able to take a take something and just make it make it golden, and he did that with a lot of artists, and it's that was part of the '90s, you know. Um, Komodo Tetsuya dominated during that uh, time, and he and. He and, um, Ham you know, um, Hamada would pretty much reunite for another, for another single titled Going Going Home just a few months later. And that one also was number one. And they reunited again a year later with the song Friendship. So they, they released a total of three singles. And, uh, for the, for the most part, um, Yeah. It was, uh, again, a unique moment in J-pop history. So definitely check that out. I will have links below for the, uh, the original video if you want to check it out again. But yeah, you all take care, and I'll see you later. So, wink, wink. I can't wink today, guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's not working. And I can't even do the ah. Uh, but you got, you, got, you got what I'm saying, right? So, can I do it? Let's do it. Come on. Let's do it for H Jungle with T. Okay, there's a wink. And, uh, I'm trying. Aww. Oh.